Hello, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this edition of PowerPoint Diagrams Tutorial Series, you will learn how to create 3D Triangle Diagram in PowerPoint. The 3D Triangle Diagram you will learn to create looks like this. Isn't this beautiful? This diagram is quite simple to create and we will learn how to create the diagram from scratch by going to a new slide. The first thing I am going to do is to go to Auto Shapes menu and under Basic Shapes I am going to choose this tool called as Isosceles Triangle Tool. I click on it and while I hold the shift button I am going to draw this triangle. This creates an equilateral triangle. The next thing is to add three circles in each of these three corners. So I'm going to go once again to the Auto Shapes menu and I'm going to choose this tool called as Oval Tool under Basic Shapes. I click on it and I hold the Shift button while I draw a circle. I want to make sure that the center point aligns with the corner here and a simple way to ensure that it that it gets done is to go to shape fill say no fill and draw a line that connects the left edge to the right edge and the top to the bottom since there are connector points here it is much easier it is quite easy for us to draw these lines now we will group all of these together and this is quite easy for us to place the center point to touch the corner. Now while I hold the control button I am going to drag the shape to its new location which creates a copy. Once again I am going to do the same thing I am holding the control button while I move the shape to another location. Now that we have done this we don't want these lines connector lines so we can click on them and press delete and there we are done now all that is left for us to do is to add the color of our choice to fill these shapes first I am going to choose a very light color for the central uh, shape I'm gonna click on this one and for this Maybe I can go to one of the quick styles and say a green shape here and for this I can go to another quick style and moderate effect aqua color and I can choose a blue color for this one. If I don't like the outline here I can remove the outline and say no outline. Let us add some text here so that it is easy for us to identify each of these uh, shapes. So I'm going to say your text here. It can be in font size 20. I'm going to do the same here. Font size 20 and your text here. And font size 20. Maybe I can also add some text in the middle place the sample text and place it here maybe I can have it in 22 so I'm going to say 22 and center align and place it here that looks good now that we have done we have written the text and we have created the shape now I'm going to select all of these together and I'm going to press ctrl G this groups all the shapes together. Now that we have grouped them, I'm going to apply 3D effect or 3D rotation. For this, let me right click, go to format shape. This opens up the pane that allows me to apply various effects. I'm going to click on the option called effects and let me go to 3D rotation. And the 3D rotation option I'm going to use is a preset under perspective called as perspective relaxed preset. Now that is beautiful. The next step is to add some depth to each of these shapes. So let me go to 3D rotation, 3D format and add a depth of say 20. That looks good. Maybe 25 
would look even better so 25 this is this is beautiful now as we applied this you can see that these text um color is not really visible so i am going to choose each of these shapes and i'm going to change the color to black that the font color to black so that it's easy for us to read and as you can observe here this pretty much is I mean, this doesn't stand out so that is the reason why it's a good idea to raise the height of these circles a bit so that you can see that these circles are connected to the three corners of this triangle so i'm going to click on that one while i hold the control button i'm going to click on this one and this shape and let me go back to the 3d rotation option and i'm going to increase this distance from ground as i click here you can observe that these shapes are standing out now this looks good once again let me click on this and apply a shadow effect the shadow effect i am going to use is a preset under outer and it is called as offset center while this is good maybe i can increase the size of the shadow a little bit say say 1 or 3 or 1 or 4 and this makes our diagram complete you have all the choice to uh, make the angle work the way you want if you don't want the angle to be this flat you can always raise the diagram a little bit so that you can clearly see all the text you can also make the central you can add a shape outline to the central portion and have it maybe a golden color you can do whatever that you feel uh, that makes the diagram look more attractive you can always add a slide title your slide title text here and there it is the diagram is complete as you can see here creating a diagram especially a 3d diagram takes a lot of time and effort if you are a busy business presenter and if your deadlines are looming large you may not have the time to create such professional looking graphics for each of your slides and your main priority would be to hone your content rather than to uh, make your uh, slides look good and that is the reason why we have created our powerpoint ceo packs let me show you these are some of the examples from our other pack which is about 630 plus advanced custom animation packs for power busy business presenters like you let me show you some example templates from our animations pack the first example is about three factors which are dependent on each other so we show the factor 1 and factor 2 and that they are connected on another click we have the factor 3 emerging and that is also connected with the previous factor and another click completes the loop and we have sample text here which can be replaced with your own text let me show you another example which talks about this triangle or three contributing factors now all three all um, diagrams where we have three contributing factors need not necessarily be a triangle in this case we want to show three contributing factors as an animation which comes like this the first contributing factor is here the second one comes on click and third one comes on click and all three are connected and it is um another shape talks a little bit more about the relationship let me show you another example this one talks about introduction to the team here we are generally playing on the idea of three the first introduction is of this person and some details and the second one is this with details and the third one is this with details as you can see here we have applied some very interesting um border effect to these pictures and an effect to write this particular text box which looks like a torn paper all these beautiful effects are templates so you can replace the sample text with your own text you can replace these photos with your own photos by changing the shape fill with picture 
all aspects of our advanced custom animation templates are 100% editable. Just choose the template that matches your thought, replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time. There are more than 630 of those advanced custom animations to make your presentations remarkable. Hope you liked our tutorial on creating a triangle diagram with 3D perspective. If you want to learn more such tutorials or if you want to watch more videos or if you want to read more articles to improve your presentation skills and PowerPoint skills, you can always visit us at presentationprocess.com. Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.